Hello, guys and gals of the internet. <laughs> it's the Seven Chaos of YouTube and Twitch TV as always, and you'll have to excuse me if I sound really, really freaking excited right now. E3 2016 has just gone, and on the Monday. <laughs> oh man, I'm, I'm so excited about this, I can't even tell you. On Monday, the best match made in heaven in all of gaming in my opinion, came true. He's real. It's General Rom for Care Instinct, and we are doing General Rom Madness. You knew this was coming the second he was announced. I went completely freaking nuts. I mean, yes, I know there had been leaks um, posted around YouTube and rumors, uh, but it was never officially confirmed, so I didn't want to get my hopes up, only to have it crushed by the time it was never announced it was never real. But it is. He's here, and we're about to do this, and as a special kind of treat, because I love this game so much, other than the fact that General Rom said it, we're going to do half this set on the PC version, as you can see by the press menu space option. Um, now, unfortunately, uh, I'm not much of a PC gamer uh, in terms of pure PC gaming playing with keyboard and mouse, so what I've done is uh, plugged my Xbox One controller in. So. I don't know if you're going to even be able to tell whether this is the PC version or not. I very much doubt it. It depends if you're on a PC monitor, I guess you could tell, but I don't, I don't know if it's going to be any different, but let's do it. Oh shit, guys. And I'm sorry, my mouse is there. I'm going to have to move it in the corner. Hopefully it won't be there during the game, otherwise we're screwed. Okay, that's, that's normal. That happens on the Xbox One version as well. So we're going to do half this set on the PC version, and then the other half on the Xbox version. So you get like a bit of both. So let's do it. Uh, ooh. Now I haven't really been on the PC version yet. The only thing is that the PC version of Xbox One titles, uh, Windows 10 versions, they take up space on the C drive and from what I'm to see, I'm probably missing the point or where to place it, but I can't move Xbox One titles to my my hard drive, my extra hard drive, it's a terabyte hard drive for games on my PC. I can't seem to move this over. Um, so if anyone knows how to do that, let me know and I might make this a thing of the future where I kind of play Windows 10 versions of games. Uh, if I can do that, but unfortunately there doesn't seem to be any way to do it right now. If anyone knows, let me know, but I haven't really seen it. Uh, you can instantly tell at the top right corner of the screen, uh, you can see the control schemes, I guess, or is that is that what version they're on? Have they updated it to see what version's on? I don't know. Alright, so all my stuff is carried over, basically, because thanks to the Xbox One kind of, um, not my Xbox One, the Microsoft like play thing they announced. Um, all games that are on Xbox One will also be Windows 10 and you will get if you buy one version you get the other for three. So that means now that I've bought Gears of War 4 on my Xbox One I will get it free for the Windows 10 version. So let me know. Let me know how you move games to E Drive and this might be a regular thing where I do this because I want to make use of my PC. <laughs> Might as well use it for something. It's not just for recording anymore. <laughs> I mean, if that's the case, I might even start making this a more regular thing and not using my Xbox, but I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. I just don't think we're gonna need it with the announcement of Project Scorpio, to be honest. You know, because Project Scorpio was announced uh, alongside the Xbox One S, so why are they releasing the S? I mean, the S, it's going to be less powerful than the uh, the Scorpio console they're doing. The Scorpio console is not going to be till like holiday 2017, so we've got a while to go yet. But I'm not entirely convinced. I'm not entirely convinced they should be doing it so soon. Basically, Microsoft seemed to be admitting, yeah, we we screwed up with uh, <laughs> we screwed up with the um, with the Xbox One, so. Call it quits, which I don't think they're going to do. I don't think they're going to call it quits exactly. But, yeah. Like, what the hell? Oh my god, look at that dude. 
General Robinson's freaking game. It's a match made in heaven, man. It's my favorite boss character, probably by a wide margin, on probably my favorite fighting game right now. What a match made in heaven this is. Honestly, it's freaking sick. I didn't pick General Ross Fiend, but we'll, we'll probably do it next match. So you're probably gonna see, you're probably gonna know it's PC by the quick loading times. Maybe that'll be a, a sign. All right, let's do it. Zero and a bunch of numbers. I like that. Oh, good. <laughs> okay then, instant disconnect. What was the freaking point of that? Okay then, I guess we're moving on to the next match. <laughs> Stop wasting my time. Rage quitting. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so let's try again. <laughs> Look at that dude. It's General Rob. I, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. A match made in heaven, dude. I love this red. I love this red. The, the color of the locust. Really? We're gonna do the same stage. <laughs> Oh man, I seriously hope we get an Arbiter matchup. I seriously do. I really hope we get an Arbiter matchup. It would be so good. I like the KI logo in the middle of the screen spinning, man. Let's see this. Let's hope we get to watch the intro. I freaking love it. The best line for General Rahm in this game. It gives him ultimate, or gives him one if you like. Shit. Oh my god, how the hell did that work? Good tech. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, that throw is so good. It's so good. <laughs> oh Shit. Look at him. He's so huge. It's fucking great, dude. I love it. Shit. Good both. Ah. Good break. I fucked up. I pressed the run. Shit. Can't blow this now. Good move. Oh, and again with the kick, uh, light punch. Yes. It's <laughs> so good. So good. Oh my god. Cannot believe it, dude. Play as General Rom again, man. I ain't done it since Gears of War Ultimate. Multiplayer. Good stuff. Yeah, it goes through fireballs. Krill actually takes health away from you as well. Yeah. Get over here, bitch. 
Yeah! My man, General Rob is the beast! Shit. Shit. What's up? Oh no! Oh, good tag. This guy's good at taking throws. I love his Krill moves. Oh shit. Attack. Uh, break rather. Yeah! Shit. Nice. Bro. Yeah. Good, brave. Ah. Oh. No, 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 no. Watch this instinct. Yes. The krill moves don't kill though, so you got to finish them with a hit. Oh no! Ah, oh, dang it! Couldn't do the ultra. Good match. Oh, <laughs> I freaking love it! I love it, man. It's so good. General Robbins in this game, I still can't believe it. It's amazing, dude. <laughs> good match. Good match, though. I almost blew it there completely. It was like down to the last string of health there. Shit. All right, we're gonna rematch. General Still can't believe it. <laughs> General Robinson's game. <laughs> How? Like what? Amazing. We have Rom's theme. Um, which stage we go to? Let's go that one again. I love the I love the stage. I love the music for that stage too. It's so good. Come on. Load. There we go. <laughs> Love it. Did you hear that? That gear sting. It's about to get real. Let's do it. I'm not sure if I've heard this music before in a Gears game. Anyone knows where it actually is from? Write in the comments, let me know. Because I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I think... I think it's a combination of a lot of the music in the game. In the series, rather. Oh, shit. I think Rom's real weakness is ranged, because he doesn't have a lot of ranged moves. The only range move is probably that. Like the Krill Storm Charge. Good stuff. Nice. Good throw. The throw is so good. Beats almost everything. Nice. Nice. 
Yeah, Ron's really weak at range. Nice. Oh. Nice. Oh, dang it. Oh. Finish it. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I got so lucky with that throw. So lucky. This guy's good. This guy sussed it out because Ram is no good at range at all. He's only got the Krillstorm charge for any viable attack and it doesn't even go full screen. So his weakness is when he's backed away in a corner. So he's going to be like terrible matchup for the likes of Jago. Crap. Oh, unlucky. Good break, though. Wow. <laughs> I need to stop jumping. Nice. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Mess it up. Mess it up big time, man. That was way too ridiculous. Ultra. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Lay down, bitch. Yes. <laughs> Good match. I was really predictable there. I almost kind of blew it. I think I was really, really predictable. I got away with it, just about. Got really lucky. Yeah, Ram is no good at range at all. The only way you can close the gap is that move. And someone like Mira can get round it. And Jago just could constantly throw fireballs at you. And even if you blast through one with the charge move, I don't think it's going to get through every one of them. So, um, kind of interesting, really, that, um, that Ram is just really close combat. It's like, what are you going to do at range? Not a lot. So if we come across Jago's and Orchids that are viable for range, Ram is going to get fucked up. Hmm, this could be interesting. <laughs>